Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm glad you stopped back. I'm going to give you a brief history of my woodworking journey. It started out last winter looking for something to do over the winter months and I started using the tools I had. A lot of these projects I made was with the wood I have on hand. I collect scrap wood if it's of any quality and just for whatever I might use it for. Well, a lot of these projects are, I, I'm happy with the results. I just really didn't enjoy making them. Um, I was looking for something that uh, maybe tapped into my creative side more. So I started looking around the internet for different ideas and I, I did come across one particular project, you'll see it in a bit, that, wow, I can do this. And in the process of doing this particular project, I realized quickly that the tools I had on hand weren't the right tools. This being the cat. I used a jigsaw for this project, and this is a stock photo, it's not my end result. And I just tossed it aside. I never even got back to it until months later to finish it because there was so much after work to do. I started researching other avenues to do this type of work. So I started looking into scroll saws and I spent $20 on this gem. It, oh yes, complete with a dull blade by the way. So when I started playing with this, it was great. I had to clean it up. I had to get the table back up to a shine so it was smooth. And none of that was a problem. The machine worked beautiful as it should. But with a dull blade, I was uh, less than pleased. But I realized that it was going to do what I wanted to do to create woodworking projects. You'll see a second one there. I only bought that. The only reason I bought that for $30 was that it came with 35 blades, brand new. This being my first project with that was um, not the best, but I, it got me going. This was my second project ever with that same saw, and now I'm starting to get excited. While it's a very simple project, it was still rough with this uh, dull blade. <laughs> Now, by the time I got to this one, I had the newer blades. It was still a struggle because the saw had no adjustments whatsoever. It was one speed, the blades were not the best quality, but I was still able to make some pretty decent projects that, I was, that I'm proud of. And so this being the last one, the Infinity Heart, I was kind of done with the saws that I had bought on Facebook Marketplace. So I started researching other saws. The Excalibur was the one I chose because it had great reviews. The price point was not within my budget, but cheaper than most. And so I started doing projects. This was the very first one and it's small. Two and a half by one and a half inches. I tell you, I was so thrilled with that. And when I got to this one, I was even more excited because now I'm starting to create the type of things that I enjoy making. With a little paint, or actually it was stain, it, it turned out pretty decent. I, I was like, wow, I can do some things with this and be excited about it. Now, this was just 10 weeks ago that I started the scroll saw. And considering I have zero experience, I'm pretty happy with how it's working. So now I start thinking I can do more. And this was a pretty difficult project, but I tell you, different set of blades made this happen. Uh, it's still rough, I still have a lot to learn, but again, I'm very, very pleased with the outcome. So when it comes to doing any project you wanna do, you really have to, well, believe in yourself first of all, but the reason I bought the $20 scroll saw was to see if it was something I was going to enjoy doing and continue doing. I can't see spending a couple of hundred dollars on a saw and have it sit. This was the final project I've done so far, and after this, I'm excited. 
making this video, I now see how far I've come and I'm excited to move on. Thanks for watching.